welcome brothers and sisters. So quick interesting one in Israel at the moment. The opposition is celebrating as the coalition becomes a minority. No right to exist. Likud Shas religious Zionism hail potential end of the Bennett Lapid government after Meretz MK quits. Opposition is disunited but in theory has the votes to dissolve the Knesset. Likud legislators celebrated the latest blow to the government and senior Likud Yarif Levine said the failed government of Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and his foreign minister Yair Lapid has turned into a minority government. Now it's clear the government has lost its right to exist. Likud MK May Golan tweeted, the first Israeli-Palestinian government on its way to the trash heap of history. Edith Silman, who was the coalition whip until her own resignation last month, we covered that, posted on Instagram a quote from the book of Esther. Deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. Interesting quote to take from the book of Esther, because yes, deliverance for the Jews needs to arise from another place. The problem is, the other place that they're initially going to think it's arising from will be the false treaty that the Antichrist makes with them in the nearby future. Um, if this persists and it gets dissolved, they could have elections by the 20th of September. So it's really interesting to watch. The scary thing at the moment is, though, that this is happening right at the same time that they're at their most vulnerable surrounded by enemies having their biggest military operations and preparations because they know that there's huge trouble coming and with relations with russia fraying and falling apart at a drastic rate it's uh, definitely something to watch it's becoming a tinderbox temple mount itself also always at the forefront of everything the turkish ambassador on his way said he wants to visit temple mount it's going to be really interesting in the days ahead. So keep your eyes on Israel, God's clock to the end times, and keep watching. Stay faithful and strong. God bless. Shalom.